Hey peeps, it's Renee, GT Designs and Vintage Art Supplies. I have got two flow books that I finally finished. Um, and it's taken me a little while just because, you know, stuff. <laughs> so I've got two. Um, and after this, and what I'm going to do, guys, is, is list um, everything that I show that's a restock for my Etsy store that I'm going to post in my Etsy store. Um, they will all be released on the same day. So I've got two flow journals, some gardening books, and I keep repeating myself in the videos because that's what I'm working on. It's one thing at a time. Um, some gardening books and two boho kits. And the boho kits are going to come, they're gypsy, tattered gypsy kits after these. Okay. And then I have the gardening kits and then the minis. Oh, anyway, we'll talk about the minis at some point in time. Okay, this is the first flow book, and I want to thank Tammy Brackett for her inspiration. Um, I absolutely love, love, love um, just everything about her channel, her art, um, her flow books, but I really love that she um, takes time to actually tell you little details about almost every single piece that's included in her her books um and so i'm very inspired by her and rosemary those two ladies inspired these two flow books okay i changed the cover of this when i originally showed this it had like some little recycling um sentiments on the front um and you know just recycling is awesome because it is um and so i've since changed that Okay, so let me just go through this. There's the cover. There's the inside. There are two um, signatures in there. And I can't close it all the way because it's just too fat. On the side I put, um, and guys, if you're new to my channel, I'm not a, a journal maker or an artist. I, these are just really easy for me to put together um, like this. Not like the, you know, the the um the real good flow books i just threw stuff in there so anyway this is this is not um i'm not journal making but i put these together i like to call them flow books but i also call them uh collage supply books art supply books okay so there's an old image there so if we go inside i left this whole side blank let me see if I can scoot you guys up just a little bit. There we go. Without knocking you over. Um, I left this blank just because I. that's intimidating. You know, I'm not an artist. Um, just looking at that is like, Ooh! <laughs> So anyway, um, yeah. Um, I've got some Tim Holtz people in here that um, these were gifted to me. And I'm trying my best to get them out of my life because they are addicting and addictive. And um, I just, I like them, and but I don't want them <laughs> in my life, uh, in my kit life, because they, they're just fun, but they're modern. But I love Tim Holtz. Okay. Anyway, um, crossword puzzle, there's um, some little cutouts and bookmarks and some just all kinds of cool stuff images some of these images um you can use as uh, writing prompts um some of them you can use as you know just collage that's what that's why they're in here um is for you to use um i am going to link tammy's um how to use a flow book and probably southern girl southern southern gals designs i'm going to link her as well um, because they really do um, show you how to use these flow books like diligently um, and so that's you know yeah they they know um, here's some maps and some more papers vintage book pages over here there's some more Tim Holtz people I need to get them out of my life because they're too cute and addicting. They're just so fun. These uh, Tim Holtz people are just fun um, to include in, in a lot of stuff. There's some maps there. Well, I find them fun, and I think you guys too because I see them all over the place. 
Um, and I found them addict. The reason why I call them addictive because addicting because they're just um, they're easy to use and they're vintage images, but they're modern, you know. So okay, and then here's some more images here, and here's some ephemera in here, and there's some goodies in this envelopes. There's all kinds of little nooks and crannies you'll have to look through. Um, to get here some Chinese um, yeah Chinese paper Mandarin so you can play around with that everybody knows that I love languages if you have grandchildren please push for them to learn other languages I'm telling you now I'm just telling you now <laughs> um, here's some book page um, I think this is from my I think that's from my alma mater, right? University, uh, I don't know. It could be. Um, I get a lot of um, magazines and stuff like that. So from the universities that I attended. Um, here's some old dictionary and some buttons. There's a lot of good old vintage buttons. Some napkins. Images. Um, some uh, crochet fabric, more Tim Holtz people, and some of my scanned people, and recycled um, priority mail packaging that I used to hold this stuff together. Uh, Shakespeare book pages, more napkins. Sorry, I'm sighing, guys. Okay. And then more music paper, not more music paper, music paper, an eagle um, packaging from some mailing. Um, here is a little pocket here. And you can actually put stuff in there. There's a flower and there's a ton of little cards, um, vintage cards in here and some flowers. And there's some more goodies in the back there, including one of those um, old slides calendar cards that's a cherub a popcorn bag of course that's another one of my signatures is a popcorn bag um some money um this money is in different sizes so sometimes it's a little bitty i almost said chiquita <laughs> little bitty and sometimes it's bigger there's a flash card this is from my great auntie's estate this paper here wallpaper um and she had that on a wall for many many years um, there's some stuff tucked under here coloring pages more images of a piano and a guitar some kool-aid to dye paper with um, an old index card some coffee dye um, Shakespeare paper images um, from a store that sells shoes more Tim Holtz people um, more crossword, messaging paper, some of my uh, Sue Olson um, composition dyed paper, a postcard, and some fabric, and some more cards and all kinds of, and these are vintage cards, you know, some of them may be contemporary, and then there's more goodness in here. Um, there's my aunt's March calendar. Um, in black and white there's one of my um, Gail um, people <laughs> um, thank you Gail one of my uh, lost relatives there from Gail and some uh, sewing pattern um, some of the beautiful um, abundant of uh, project life cards I think is what these are cards um, from candy thank you candy and some other cards in there and some images and um, a football image card in the fabric um, let's see here why is that there I don't know it's why is it this way I don't know um, oh this is an old um, Queen Elizabeth page 
Um, it's a story from Queen Elizabeth. I did not put it here. I'm not sure why it's there. Oh, maybe it went in here. Well, I'm sticking it in there. There's some Scrabble paper, some game paper, some things to do. I think I got those from... I don't know. I got those from somebody. Maybe Sophia? I'm not sure. Um, and then I got um, I got a lot of good stuff from so many people, guys. It's, it's just amazing. Um, so that's an image. This is an article that came from one of the articles that um, I um, had my students analyze when we're talking about analysis in class in one of my composition, not the literature courses, the upper division courses, but the composition courses, they have to literally analyze um, you know, um, images and an article and break it down and discover the thesis and the argument and the support and all of that for the argument. And this article was about food um, and how fast food is not that bad in comparison um, to some of the would-be um, prestigious uh, food chain sellers. Um, and it was very interesting. They actually liked that and I thought it was pretty interesting too. Um, there's some old coin uh, tubes there, and over here are, is some packaging, um, a, you know, front of a book cover, and some more images in here from old book pages. That's just tucked in there. Um, this is my address, guys. Gee whiz. Anyway, oh lord, I'll have to redact that out of the video. Anyway, here's some coloring stuff here. Not that I don't mind my ad my address showing. I, I, you know, when I order stuff, I have my address. I don't have a P.O. box. It's a waste of money for me. <laughs> um, anyway, so this is um, from a 1947 um, yearbook. And here's the popcorn bag. I put some images in there. Um, a lot of these pieces can be um, used for writing prompts. I think if you're a writer, like a fiction writer, books like this is great. But especially if you are an artist, um, the collaging that you could do with these is great. I recently watched, now I've seen Shannon Green do it and I just fell in love with it. She had something where, what was our favorite videos of hers? And my, all of her videos, but my favorite, favorite I remember from the distant past um, not so distant past, I should say, but, you know, a, a, a while back was her um, image transfer. And I thought it was just amazing how she, she did it. And then I recently watched, um, I call her a little feisty um, girl, woman, young woman, because I just love her to death. She's um, really a talented artist, man. I And that's Southern Girls. I don't know her, Southern Gals Designs. I don't know her name. Um, Tiffany, Tiffany is her name because she says that every time. Um, but she recently did a transfer and it was so cool. It was just great. Um, but it's where you take a transfer is where you take this image and transfer it onto something else like a tag or something like that, or, um, um, a collage book page or something. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't speak art guys. You know that. Uh, not unless it's literature. Okay, and then here's some really cute images here. And some children's uh, book pages. Shakespeare. This is one of my old, old days of first generating ideas of um, curating um, things. This is one of my, and I won't, I guess I can't pull it out. I folded it. But this was um, a blue um, theme. And so I love this. And I kept um, a lot of images from those um those um kits and they weren't really kits i didn't see them as kits at this time um i was selling embellishment kits um just embellishments to decorate your junk journals with um and you can always go to my etsy store and look at the pictures at the very bottom of my shop to see um, how my kids sort of evolved um, into what they have become and what they are today. Um, here's some dictionary page and word um, page, and those are old and yellow, yellowed images. The other side of that fabric um, hand crocheted piece. Um, I could make these if I wanted to, but 
mama don't have time for that <laughs> um i barely have time for my boho kit pocket thingies um more dictionary that's the other side and then i put some of this crazy pretty um soft um fringe in there um you can watch my videos and see where i discovered this and why i took it and why i was hesitant to take it but i did um and so here it is um here's some bird images um and i just clip everything together i i'm telling you if you want to uh, really really enjoy and learn a lot I'm telling you, go watch Tammy Brackett um, for these collage books, um, the flow books. They're just great. And I love that she can tell you every little piece. She has taken time to actually um, look at and think about every little piece for the most part. At least that's what I feel. I mean, I could be wrong, but that's what I feel. And I just absolutely love that. Um, here are some old postcards. Um, I think this is... Uh, Western West Texas um, that's in Buffalo and that's an old vintage postcard there tucked in there with some red tissue this page here I didn't say that I kind of flew through it is an old um, it's either an old life magazine or an old better homes and garden uh, magazine I think this is from my life magazine books though um, and there's some stickers, numbers, I think, yeah, it's one, two, three, four, five, it's the whole number set, I think. Um, there's some of my coffee dyed, um, paper, but in this case, there's blue on here because I allowed some of the ink from the, uh, composition books to leak onto this paper. So there's a faint blue, uh, teal blue there. Um, this is a beautiful image. This came from my um, the college where I did my master's degree work, the university where I did um, my University of Texas where I did my master's degree. And this is a beautiful image of Nella Larson. Um, and there's just a whole story behind her. Um, I teach um, a wonderful novel in my uh, literature, American literature courses about people who pass. Um, and it is definitely very, very, very relevant, um, to today in terms of people who are gay, but they're scared to come out or people who are pretending to be something that they're really not. Um, and in Nella Larson's case and the wonderful author that I teach, um, James Weldon Johnson, um, they're African Americans who are light enough to pass as white people. Um, Nella Larson, neither of them, literally, the authors weren't. Um, you, you know that they're black. There's the one drop rule, right? Um, but they write about that. Um, and one of the reasons they passed um, was so that they can participate in enfranchisement in America. Um, whereas to be black um, in America, in their writing time, the Harlem Renaissance writing time was not... Um, not very fruitful um, economically and so um, I love this image um, and this is a penguin I'll lift this up here so you can kind of see under that um, this is just you know a literature pamphlet um, of uh, Nella Larson and so she took the front cover but it was a pamphlet of literature um, of books uh, for American literature and that's one of my favorites um, love those stories um this is clark gable no man of her own um and this came from some i don't know book or something i found it you know from i don't know but i put washi tape thanks to candy i have washi tape that i can expend frugally okay i'm, I'm still being stingy with my washi tape i'm just saying <laughs> But I can use it a little bit more. I can use more washi tape to hold these images in there in these flow books. And thank you, Candy. Um, this is my avocado dye paper. And here is a bag that I sort of threw down in there. There's nothing in there. This is a this has some little goodies inside of it. It's an envelope um, that I made from an old Gucci magazine that I found on the curbside years ago 
um, you know, in a very, uh, very hoity-toity neighborhood, um, as I like to call them. And um, the lady was throwing out a bunch of magazines, and I just, you know, happened to take most of them. The Gucci one was really interesting because there was very little text. And way back when, I was already thinking about recycling um, and turning things into useful uh, interactive pieces for something. In here, there's some stuff in there. I think there's some lace in here, guys. Yeah, there's some lace and doilies. Whoops, you can't see that in there. So you'll get that in this map pocket. And it's really not a pocket. I just put some masking tape on the side. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Here's some more uh, words that I've cut out uh, randomly um, in this uh, CD sleeve with um, a flower um, page here, li lily page there. And then in the lily page, I turned, it's so big, it's a coffee table book. I turned it into um, a pocket. Okay, so you've got some stuff in there and there's stuff behind there and yeah. This is an old Life Magazine page of, um, I think, a father and his uh, football player sons. This is a very delicate page, by the way, because it's old. Um... This is from the old dictionary, and I made sure to put the word flow in there. Can you see that? This is a really big book. Um, and then here's a book jacket, dust jacket. And um, on this side, I put some old children's tic-tac-toe images. On the inside here, I have put um, some reflection... Oh, recollections, um, rub-ons, rub-on transfers of some butterfly wings, and there's some sticker letters, and then in here, there's just some goodies behind, some music paper, and some other little things, and there's the word flow again. Over here, there's some playing cards and some index uh, tabs letters and there's some more um, old pieces in um, ephemera in this little paper bag and some game pieces too um, there's some calligraphy there's some of Sophia's beautiful paper I put some goodies in here I did use Gail's um, punch that she gave me she gifted me and um, I'm so grateful for that um, I punched out a lot of her tabs. I don't have the punch in this room. This room is like a hot mess, guys, because we've been painting in here and I've had to organize so much. Guys, I'm telling you, I have like this room. I've kind of taken over Max's room just a little bit, um, but I love it. I, I've still coffee down my paper in there, but I do have a table where I can spread out and kind of put my boxes of things that I need to add to different kits um, in there. And so I have this room, another really big room um, in the front of our house, Max's room almost, because Smokey doesn't sleep in there anymore. He's really um, in the mostly in the living room and then a table in the living room. It's just, my husband thinks I'm just like totally taking over everything. And I told him I am. <laughs> he says, he says, I got to get to work on building more stuff and building more space. Anyway, um, this is Sophia's. Uh, thank you, Gail, for the punch out pieces, because I think there's punch outs in there. They're in here somewhere. I put them in both flow books. Um, this is some of Sophia's beautiful um, uh, pieces that she gifted me. And I love the handwriting. I love I love that I can't read it. I love um, that I don't know what it says. Um, I don't read Mandarin. I wish I did. Um, one of my best friends who teaches, uh, at the University of Hawaii, um, reads Mandarin and, um, she, oh, she's such a beautiful person. I, I love her so much. Um, and she, she could read this easily, right? Um, but I don't, so, but I love that. That's the good part. And so anyway, there's more calligraphy. There's another Tim Holtz, um, person, little boy there. And there's some round, um, little 
I don't know what you call those. They're dots. Um, what do you call those? I think they're like, I don't know, guys, what these are called. They're like dots or, I don't know. Anyway, they're, they're there. Okay, so you have those. You have um, some papers. And in this envelope, um, there's a lot of goodness in here. And I think I put in some ephemera and some other stuff in there. I don't know. I can't remember. Um, under there, there's some beach scenery. This is a piece about Tahiti. My sister is headed to Tahiti. She's going to Tahiti. <laughs> um, and which is awesome. I'm so happy. But yeah. So yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, um, here are some. Um, these are guest checks here, and I put the, I put invoices in here, and these guys, you know, are not uh, old. They're contemporary, and there's some more images, and some poppies, and some music paper, and there's a mid, uh, mid, mid western style clock, and then here is a beautiful little playing card that's vintage. Okay, so put this back this way. There's a lot of folds and tucks, guys. A lot of folds and tucks. And here you have more dictionary. There's your name it. That's an old Life magazine paper. Be careful with that if you collage with it. Well, it's great for collage, but it's very fragile. Um, there's some doilies and some more images in here. Um, that's a really cool image. I love this. I think this is from my credit union or something like that. I can't remember. But anyway, there's some more um, pages in there. And the lily paper and some magazine pages. Some big map pages. Um, there's a cute frog on my avocado dye paper. This pretty image here. And it's just stapled on, so you can still pick it off and use it. There's the back of that literature piece. Um, music paper and a bingo card in there with a little spin dial. Okay, so there's that. Um, there will be a package of ephemera that comes with this book. And a pack of cards. And I don't know how many cards um, are in here. They are not vintage. They are modern cards. You will have to have uh, sandpaper to kind of take off the um, glossiness of these cards. Not all of them, um, but some of them um, will be sort of glossy. And um, you can make those into ATCs. That will come with this and a small pack of goodness. And I think I showed you guys. Let me see here. Hang on. Let me... I don't want it to stick out and get bent. This book is really hard to close. Okay, there it is again. You have a vintage button and a bead. And a button and some beads. And a bell and some beads. And I just use those hair tie thingies. Okay, um, that's the only way. I love how Tammy um, uses uh, washi tape to hold her pockets together and i got that totally stole that idea from her um for example i don't know if i did it in this book but i've done it before in my flow books but it's so cool how she takes washi tapes washi tape to make the pockets and i i love it so there's that that one okay then i have this one and I sh I'm going to go through this one pretty quickly because I don't have much time. Um, this one, this book page is from an old book. And when I say old, I really mean like it's old. I put it on with washi tape so you can slice it out if you want. It's not glued on. The year on the farm, spring. Um, springtime is blossom time on the fruit farms, orchids. Orchards um, are pink and white with apple blossoms and cherry blossoms. Sometimes the apple trees make arches half a mile long. People travel far to see these beautiful arches of apple blossoms. And that's what it's all about is apple blossoms. Um, 
yeah on this page so this book is really big as well and I put some beads on there and again um, I am totally borrowing everything um, for the most part um, I learned from Tammy and so um, and I'm yeah and this is two signatures guys two signatures there it's really huge um, this little idea here I got from um, my book from I got this idea the safety pin from and these are real buttons it came like this and some sewing stuff and I got that idea from April let me show you quickly Um, this was one of my first books that I that I won and I love this about April's book the safety pin it's just I don't know it was it's something about this is just you know it's just beautiful um, and these pieces these old jewelry pieces um, that she just collected on the side of the book so I love that and okay let's see let me go quickly guys because i don't have a lot of time this one i put this page in here i'm sorry for the glare um i put this page here oops i meant to stick that in somewhere i will um and it's you know you can just tear it off of there i think i just did like a little glue stick or something um, oh dear, my mom's calling me. Okay, let me go quickly, guys, because I got to answer my mom's call. She hasn't been feeling too well. Um, okay, so there's that. Images. I put a lot of big text in here. And, um, yeah. I think I better call her, guys. Let me put you guys on pause and call her from my husband's phone. Hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. I had to, um, you know, call my mom and make sure she was okay. So, um, let's see. We we're talking about big text here. I think that's what, what we're talking about. I love this because it has some, um, you probably can't see it, but it has some Spanish words. Poquito. How about tortilla, enchilada, taco? He suggested drawing upon his one excursion into a mexican restaurant don't laugh he advised how much spanish do you know poquito i admit it which means not very much i think poquito he said trying it out since she isn't very much of anything herself it fits her perfectly poquito knowing more spanish than we did and aiming only to please took her immediately i guys i really scouts honor did not even purposefully put that in there <laughs> it just i just ripped some pages out of a big print large print uh, reader's digest book um but i love that i think it's pretty cool uh let's see there's i didn't put anything over here maybe i'm going to clip this cute little kitten um over here because yeah he just must be there okay so here i've got more images and there there's some cards in the back there's some korean um text here there's a playing card there i'm sorry for the glare guys let's see if i can put something under there to help us out with this i'm not sure that's going to help okay maybe um there's hopefully you guys can see that okay there's a uh, vintage playing card some roses that's from an old children's book i use some of these books in my easter kits um there's some tim holtz kids and a doily some coffee dye music paper um there and uh some of those uh rub-ons that i showed you guys in a haul Um, some old um, well not old but this is really interesting because this is 1997 Las Vegas from Scottsdale Arizona and I love this there's two letters in here and I got it now let me just say that um, I've always been 
you know, a gatherer of this kind of thing. But, and I've always thought it, found it very interesting and useful that my niece learns um, penmanship, is graded on penmanship. She learns cursive in her school. Cursive is not something that's taught. But Tammy, again, has really encouraged me um, to look for this kind of handwriting. Um, and so has Val. Um, uh, Pumpkin Patch Journals has encouraged me to look for these kinds of things because it's true. And I started to think, well, gosh, there's a reason why I'm so infatuated with the fact that my niece is learning cursive because cursive is not something that's taught. Most of my private school high schoolers that I teach our college courses to uh, don't write cursive and I find it very devastating and I've asked them about that um, but they think it's you know I've talked about it on other videos before they just think yeah we don't need to know the how to write cursive so you know um, but I think it's pretty cool um, that uh, young people do learn how to write cursive it's it can be a difficult task and it shouldn't be it used to did not be um, an old uh, postcard here that's got some writing on it that's hot springs where is that uh, hot springs mountain yeah Arkansas duh it's right there on the front guys I'm telling you the brain Okay, and then here's some old children activity book. I put this white piece of paper here to give it strength because this is pretty fragile. And if you hear buzzing, it's my light up there. I think maybe one of the bulbs is about to go out. I put a host of tickets and coin uh, tubes at the bottom here, just a cluster of those in that paper clip. This totally totally I got this not that long ago guys and I got it because of Rosemary Morris and her mamba <laughs> journal I had never seen these I walked into a store in you know it close within our area and I think this is really interesting um, great for mass communication students right um, they have rap snacks RAP rap as in rap music snacks um, and there were all these images of um, young um, men on the front covers of bags and women with braids and some with dreads and I was like what is that <laughs> what is going on it's a snack these are called honey jalapeno uh, cheese puffs now I bought the bag I threw the cheese puffs the puffs away because I tasted one and yeah it's I didn't buy these with the with the intent to eat them I bought them because of I love Rosemary Morris's Mumba um, journal cover and the journal itself. If you've never seen it, you gotta, maybe I'll link it, I'll link it here. Um, so I got this and I thought it was pretty cool that that's a, it, as we say, a tater chip sack cover. <laughs> tater chip. Um, there's some ruffle there um, a vintage um, and I put it on backwards. It's supposed to go this way but I stapled it on backwards so it's a flip there's another Tim Holtz person um, and some ledger and this ledger book is old it came from an old book uh, it looks new but it came from I showed it in one of my hauls um, I don't know somewhere in my hauls but it's old it came from one of the estates okay so there's that and there's some stickers those are you've seen those in my haul um, I left this page kind of stark um, just because I like this little dove here that's really cute and that's from an old book um, and I included some of these in my Easter kits here's some feed sack fabric some of my um, inspired Sue Olson the innkeeper paper um, here's some tags um, it says she has a handle on this she's not sure and then it says doors so these are some little letters you can uh, phrases and words you can kind of play around with and then there's a chamomile tea um, sometimes that's what I give um, Smokey when his little tummy is not feeling too good which is very rare um, 
and some of my um, diet index cards, some dictionary, magazine pages with a bunch of colors and girls, a very vintage um, Exxon map piece that was in Mr. McDaniels's um, estate finds. And then this was Sophia's. Thank you, Sophia, so much, my dear. Um, this is, uh, and I'll link her to, this is one of her, um, hand, uh, sewn stitch, machine stitched, um, folds. And I loved it. It fits so perfectly into this, uh, book. And then I put these little tiny pieces of money, more money, guest check, more of the, um, I think that's Mandarin writing in these little cute guys here. There's some birds. And that's a fold fold out and there's a beautiful bird there and an August um, from the planner an August uh, 2018 page a flash card with some other goodies in a glass scene and there's an image of a man there and some boxers um, I did not cut the uh, glassine bag um, you can cut that if you'd like Another things to do, important, calendar, more money, and then these cute little pineapples that I got from April. Thank you, April, so much. I love you, girl, to the max, to the max. Um, and then I got a coin tube, some money, and more cards, another message piece. Um, someone contacted me and asked me about this bunny image and said that they really liked it. Um, and I sent a message saying, if you like it, uh, send me a message via Etsy, you know, or even Instagram. And I'm more than happy to send it for free, but I never heard back from her. So, um, I think I put it another one aside. The reason why I put this one in the flow book is because it's got some little, um, you know little creases up here but it's still really pretty it's in really good condition and there's some larger monopoly standard size monopoly money here are some maps the other side of the girls some coloring book pages sorry I'm hitting the camera um, one of my old paper doll um, pieces and it, this is old guys if you've tried to fold that or whatever it's it's fragile um, that, and I put the admit one ticket there just to hold it and sturdy up the, the paper um, some Thumbelina the other side of that beautiful um, dyed paper and the feed sack and there's a beautiful image there of some lovely girls enjoying their outing whoops and the little lamb I got two minutes left on here um, here's one of my avocado dye envelopes that's the quality one there's a little butterfly and there's some goodies inside with some other little feed sack pieces um, and some rabbits um, a bird from the bird book um, on the other side of that old ledger paper a fish This is a 1920s, roughly, um, photograph of a mom and a little baby, a newborn baby. Um, and there's a four of hearts and a security envelope card in there. And this is a card that came out of um, some of my uh, vintage finds. Some music paper, the other side. And more of Sophia's beautiful handwriting. Um, I love, love, love this image here. Can you guys see that of this mother carrying her baby? Um, she's a mom, right? And a human being. Um, and I got that from a National Geographic magazine. And I say that not to be funny, but um, I don't know. There's something very beautiful about it. And um, yeah. Um, this is a an applique that you saw in my haul. I showed that 
I gotta hurry guys because my camera's gonna cut off um there's the other side of that book uh, jacket. There's some goodies inside of this Sophia piece here. I won't tell you what it is, but it's got some punches and circles and goodness in there. More map. I love this um, starfish here. And, oh my God. My phone's going to cut off, guys. It's blinking. I may have to come back and finish this. Um, I think I'll do that because this is the second signature. Okay, and then here is the second signature, um, and this comes from an old children's activity book. In fact, this page, hang on guys, this page here comes from that book. Okay, so there's the cover, and there's a lovely image there of Audrey some children images a little blue butterfly more dictionary um, this little pocket has um, some ephemera in it some old envelopes some little day calendar and word and there's one of those cute little vintage um, uh, greeting cards that I had this one I have this book of quotes um, this is plant Sunflower seeds to attract birds away from vegetable seedlings. Garlic and onion planted in beds will help will help to keep amphi um, aphibs away. And then this is really interesting. This says, whenever I hear anyone talk of culture, I reach for my revolver. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's like, okay. <laughs> I like that. Okay, uh, what else do we have in here? Um, let's see more images a little frog an old children's book it looks like he's been colored in but he's he's not a vintage playing card um, my new wonderful circle punch um, with some pattern paper this little envelope has some goodies in it um, and there's more goodness behind there and there's some of that beautiful um, Mandarin and then I've also attached some Korean paper, um, a little image there. This is an old um, Better Homes and Garden magazine. This lady has a ton of fruit on her head, she's kind of peeking out. Here's some fabric, and this is a cute little card I got in my Kristen pack. I love you, Kristen! I'm using it. I know I haven't moved it. I'm kind of being a little stingy um, for now, <laughs> but I am. I've already started to use um, some of these goodies um, that you um, that you included in my pack, and I so appreciate it. Love it. Um, I may have to buy another one just because I I don't know. I just love it. Um, and those bags. I am being a little stingy with the bags. Okay, just saying. Here's a popcorn bag, and that's got some goodies in there. And some game pieces, guest checks, and some images. And here's another pretty image. I love this lip color um, on her. It's so pretty. One of my students, guys, is a fabulous artist. Oh, and she told me one day. She said, "Professor, you can just take you can just um, take pictures a uh, picture of it, or I can make prints of my art." And I said, "No, no, no." <laughs> I said, "But you know." Yeah, she's so sweet, and she's such a good artist, and so um, modest. Okay, here's some images here, some pattern paper. Um, I love this monkey. And here's an old playing card. Um, pattern paper, more images. Another old playing card with a butterfly. You guys have seen those, I think, in my Easter kits. And some ribbon here that you can cut up and um, I got that in some of the estate sales stuff excuse me kind of like this <clears throat> but um, yeah and there's the other side of the art image more magazine images more cards and music sheet and this music sheet is actually intact so it was easy to stick it in there the right way 
right side up. There's a Siamese, um, another card. This Uno card is blank on the side. There's another little egg card. And that came from Kristen from her ephemera pack, which I love, love old images like that. Um, there's a Star Wars image, more punches, more beautiful handwriting in this signature as well. And this little pocket has a lot of goodies, and this is what I was talking about, the idea. I totally took this idea from a Tammy Bracket to hold the folds of the paper to make your fold, right, with tape, and I love that. And then I just tucked some flowers in there. On this side, there's another little um, slide. Um, those are Shakespearean slides. There's a lot of Shakespeare um, images on there, on stage. Um, yeah, and there's a bunch of other little goodies. Another playing card in there. And this cute little doggy. I forget what you call those. Shih Tzu. I forgot what those are called. My best friend had one like that. Her name was his name was Bandit. <laughs> it was so cute. <clears throat> now she has two big bulldogs. Um, this is a little uh, children's image with a little bug about bugs. More playing cards in here. Um, those old Whitman cards and some other images. There's a little frog in there some writing papers some polyester fabric some um, cooking cards and Christian includes if you haven't gone over to get one of her packs you must she includes um, these in her uh, packs and they are just great my favorite of course are these the flower ones I have a ton of these but these I don't have at all and I just think that these are so much fun they all are these are fun too I've used up pretty much all of the ones I got from my great aunt I think I may still have hers were the ones that um, she had those in the green box as well but hers were the ones that ripped apart and came in the mail um, of cooking stuff <clears throat> more little children's book images um, this book is a lot more happier than the other book which is happier it which is happy as well but this one's a little bit more um, kid friendly but then sometimes you'll get a, a random piece that's you know has nothing to do with kids at all I put some old vintage book page in here um, that's in Rome and this paper is so fragile guys that you'll have to be really careful with it and there's also some work puzzles in here that are not finished or completed to play around with and what else is in here some magazine page a cute little fish A map and inside this map there are images in here let me take this off and show you um, there's all kinds of papers and little images and of different people and things so you've got some uh, images you can collage with from there okay there's that and um, there's nothing in this bag. I did want to add that on there, though. And um, and last but not least, Michael <laughs> is in, was in front of the bag. Um, is this rub-on packing and these little note papers here? Okay, so that's this flow book, and this book will come with got these cute little beads I think I showed you those some little buttons here some more little buttons and beads here so um, this is gonna come with a pack of cards these are um, contemporary cards and I had prepared packs of these for ATC packs um, 
sparked and inspired by Vicky, Crafting Vicky. But I decided to, yeah, just nick that idea for now. Maybe later or, you know, somebody else um, will likely come up with the idea of sell or sell um, packs for ATT ma ATC making. Um, so for now, um, I am giving away um, as a thank you for these books. Um, these packs of cards and so each book will come with a card a pack of cards um, and another small bag of goodness okay um, <clears throat> you can look forward to more flow books like this guys um, they're pretty sturdy now these are gonna be $30 um, but I'm gonna send them media mail unless you want them fast so um, it's $30 I'm listing them in my Etsy I um, will put shipping um, at media mail because they are books and media mail is cheaper for you um, to receive them so it's $30 uh, plus media mail for these in the United States at least um, is about four bucks maybe maybe three dollars and ninety cents and it takes about four to five days to get there but you know um, let's see what else if you're international and you're interested in one of these um, I will set the price for that you can always contact me um, and let me know um, if you know it's just you know communicate with me if you're interested um, if I if you overpay for the shipping on these I'll re refund you so it's not a big deal um, and that's it guys so I'll be back now these will not list in my shop until um, let's see, I believe Wednesday, let's see, today's Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, five days, yeah, because I have, um, with these two books, I will also list, um, uh, five to six gardening kits, um, and two boho kits, okay, so I'll just keep showing you, I won't post any more haul videos or any more videos, I'm um, showing, um, unveilings of anything until after I get these all posted um, because I do have some things that I uh, want to open on camera so anyway I hope that's um, enough info for you guys I'll put it all I'll link um, the shops that inspired these and certainly different people who um, who definitely have been a key factor of me making these books they are so much fun to make and I have so much to add in them that it's ridiculous right it's just crazy so anyway and they're fun collage books that's what I like too so okay I better stop talking and go get my uh, boho kits prepared to upload so you can see those um, and then the gardening kits um, so just stay tuned I'll post when these will list um, like I said it'll probably be Wednesday a random weeknight um, I don't know and in, in the evening sometimes I'll try my best to time it like I'm home all day for the most part um, when I'm not uh, out taking my mom to appointments and things like that um, and so I may do it at 12 o'clock but it is a Wednesday right so I want to give international people a chance as well so it'll be sometime around there guys I'll let you know um, <clears throat> but these are two options so you can think about these okay all right I'll be back with more goodness Orale pues, sale pues.